so we just saw that uh, the theorem uh, which is written over here works through the geogebra Geo demonstration we could show that if a b and b c are two equal chords of a circle then the center of the circle lies on the angle bisector of the angle abc we saw that through a demonstration on a geogebra platform now uh, we are going to prove this theorem okay and how do we prove this theorem is like this so uh, first let's write you know the conventional proof methodology is right what's given so the given part is that a b is equal to b c r chords of circle let's say capital o small r what does it mean so o is the center r is the radius okay this is how the circles are depicted now we have to prove to prove to prove what do we need to prove center o center uh, o lies on the angle bisector angle i angle bisector of angle abc okay so for that we need to construct something as well so what do we need to do so here is the construction part construction so we have to uh, construct something here so we say that we have to join ac ac joined ac joined okay and a d the bisector of angle a b c drawn right so this is the construction so if you can see in the diagram not a d rather b b d b d sorry my bad so let me just you know make it more clear so b d so b d bisector of angle a b c drawn right now let's try to prove so here is the proof what is the proof in triangle a b d a b d and triangle c b d c b d if you see angle uh, a b is equal to b c given equal chords so given and alpha is equal to beta right because bd bisects bisects angle abc is it it and third is bd is equal to bd common common side is it if that is true then let me write it here then we can say that triangle abd abd is congruent to triangle c b d cvd isn't it by which congruence law by sas criteria isn't it side angle side criteria we prove that these two triangles are congruent now therefore i can say angle bda bda is equal to angle bdc okay and the reason being equal parts of congruent triangles corresponding parts of con congruent triangle cpct also i can say ad is equal to dc why same reason cpct okay that means what d is the midpoint so d is the midpoint midpoint of ac also also angle bda plus angle cda or bdc rather or cdb is equal to 180 degree why linear pair we studied linear pair on one line the angle total angle is 180 degree at a point so therefore i can write twice angle bda is equal to 180 degrees why twice angle bda because bda and cdb or bdc are same where it is written here so hence angle bda is 90 degrees right therefore d is the midpoint and bda is 90 degree what does it mean guys it means that bd is the perpendicular bisector perpendicular so this sum symbol i am writing as for perpendicular perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector of of ac 
AC. Now, guys, AC happens to be a chord, right? Therefore, therefore, and and AC happens to be a chord, and BD is the perpendicular bisector of the chord. But we know that perpendicular bisector of the chord always carry the center. So hence, we can say that BD will carry or contain the center. And why is that? Why is that? Because because perpendicular. So perpendicular bisector bisector of a chord passes through the center. Passes through the center and hence proved hence proved right so what did we learn we learned uh, first of all we demonstrated that this theorem actually works it's valid and then we worked through its proof right so this theorem is proved